Hey everybody, it's Nels. We're back with another episode of Sled Tech. Today we got a little something different in the shop. We're going to do a deep dive on the ProStar S4 engine, the, the four-stroke engine offering for Polaris snowmobiles. All right, so let's dive in. The ProStar S4. Now, we launched this engine in 2023, and when we launched it, it's the first Polaris four-stroke engine in quite a long time for snowmobiles. Uh, we'd had that gap in our lineup for quite a while. We launched it in 2023 in the Indy, the Voyager, and the Titan, uh, and it really does a great job in all three of those platforms, no matter how you want to use it for comfortable trail riding, some recreation or, or utility and work with the Titan. It really does a great job. It's quiet, it's smooth, it's fun to ride. And today we're gonna to take a, a really deep dive into all the technical bits and features uh, that make it work so well across our snowmobile lineup. Now, when we, we set out to start the, the four-stroke project at Polaris to bring four-stroke snowmobiles back into our lineup, uh, which we did here with the ProStar S4, we had a couple key goals that we set out, right, when we started the program, like any program. We don't just go make something. Uh, we have goals that, that the riders want that we wanna go and achieve. With S4, it was really a couple key items. The first is reliability and durability. That's one of the biggest advantages of a four-stroke is that rock-solid reliability, the long service intervals, and that was definitely a big piece of what we wanted to go and get. The, the second is the rest of the kind of four-stroke benefits. It's gotta be quiet and, and fuel efficient and economical. And the last one is we wanted it to be fun. We make really fun snowmobiles at Polaris. That's one of our big things that we talk about a lot is every sled from the Titan to the Voyager to the Indy XCR is fun to ride. They're, they're quick, they're responsive, they're fun to ride. Uh, and we didn't wanna compromise that fun to ride nature that we have in our snowmobiles with the, the ProStar S4. In fact, we wanted to even make it a little bit better uh, compared to other four strokes out there. When we started the S4 project, uh, we looked at our off-road uh, partners, our, our, our Ranger and Razor partners over in off-road, and they had this wonderful platform of a uh, parallel twin four-stroke engine that has gone in a lot of Rangers and Razors and Generals and more uh, over the last number of years. And so that's the architecture that we started with. We knew that it would achieve a lot of the goals at a high level that, that we set out that I just talked about. And it's a proven architecture. The, the architecture of, of this engine platform at Polaris is powered hundreds of thousands of side-by-sides uh, over the last handful of years, brings that rock solid durability and so that's what we were looking for. So specifically on the engine, uh, like I said, this engine shares the architecture with uh, our off-road 1000 engine uh, series that we put in our side-by-sides. So a uh, couple of the basic pieces, it's a, it's a four-stroke parallel twin, dual overhead cam, four valves per cylinder. Um, it's a 999cc. And the Snow S4 shares the bore and stroke with the Razor 1000 engine. Uh, so that's what we started with. Um, a couple of uh, other pieces on the, the engine itself. The head and the firing order is actually from uh, the Razor 925 turbo. So the, the Razor turbo engine, um, that's actually 925 cc. Uh, that's where the, the head and then the firing order came from. The cylinder design, uh, the port design, all of that uh, is shared with the off-road architecture and really builds into that reliability and durability piece uh, that we talked about, powering hundreds of thousands of side-by-sides and now using that same proven architecture here in the S4. So even though we started with a proven architecture from our off-road engines, the snowmobile is a really unique application in a lot of ways. So we took that proven architecture, we made a couple really key changes to some specific systems to make it accomplish those snowmobile goals we set out, right? We wanna be durable, reliable, quiet, and still fun to ride, that's a big one. So what we did is the, the first piece is we put a dry sump oiling system in it. So a lot of our off-road engines have a wet sump system what that means is it's got an oil pan like most cars or, or something like that at the bottom that holds the excess oil in it and then flows the oil throughout the engine from there. With the S4, you don't see it here on the cutaway on the bench, but on the sled there's an, actually an auxiliary oil tank, so a tank separate from the engine uh, that's connected with some lines of course, that holds the oil for the engine and then it flows that oil throughout the engine as needed. Uh, what that does for us is two really key things. The first is in your snowmobile, snowmobile's not always perfectly flat uh, both directions driving along. Going up and down hills, especially when you think about 
a Titan or a Voyager where you're off trail carrying big loads, the engine has to stay properly oiled at a pretty wide range of engine orientations, right? Think the engine's at an angle because the snowmobile is at an angle in the snow. That dry sump system, by flowing the oil through rather than relying on the oil sitting in the bottom of the engine, it makes sure that it stays oiled in a much wider range of engine orientations. The second piece that it does is it helps our center of gravity. So um, the, one of the big initiatives of the S4 program was to get the engine as low as possible. By moving that uh, big oil tank or oil reservoir that usually sits in the pan underneath, by moving it to the side, we we're able to drop the entire engine down into the engine bay and help our center of gravity. On an S4, in an Indy platform or a Voyager uh, or a Titan, the center line of the crankshaft, so where the crankshaft is relative to the bottom of the belly pan of the vehicle, is actually the same between an S4 and a Patriot engine. So the crankshaft for an 850 or a 9R or a 650 or a Boost and the crankshaft for an S4 are in the exact same location in the sled. They're at the same height. What that does is it helps us keep this little bit heavier four-stroke engine compared to a two-stroke as low as we can in the chassis. And that's what really helps maintain a lot of those fun handling benefits, both in indies when you're riding on the trail and, and you wanna really get a little spirited and ride through the corners, or off-trail handling with a Voyager or a Titan where you want it to still be easy to handle, easy to maneuver. The next piece on the engine to call out is the firing order. So most of our off-road engines have a 180 degree firing order, uh, which means that the, the cylinders fire, so the uh, power stroke for each cylinder is 180 degrees apart from one another. Um, this engine uh, shares in common with a couple of our off-road engines a 270 degree firing order. So what that means is the power stroke or when the engine fires the cylinder uh, is 270 degrees apart uh, in the entire rotation rather than 180. So it's a little further apart. They're more spaced out than they otherwise would be uh, in a 180. That does two key things for us. First, a 270 helps cold starting. Uh, it helps space the firing order out a little bit, like I mentioned. And so it's a more even distribution of the power to help the engine start at really cold temperatures. On a snowmobile, right, you gotta hop on at minus 30 or 40 degrees and turn the key and it's gotta start. Uh, so that 270 order helps uh, that cold starting capability. The other thing that the 270 degree firing order does for us with S4 is it smooths out some of those engine vibrations. Because the firing pulses are a little bit further spaced apart, the engine vibration's a little smoother, so there's less vibration passed back to the rider, whether you're on the trail, out in the deep snow, whatever it might be. The last piece here on kind of differences from the architecture for snow specific uh, is the cam. So same cam design, no, no change in the kind of architecture of how the cam uh, system works. However, they were specifically selected and calibrated for a really flat torque curve in a snowmobile. Um, whether you're riding on the trails or towing a big load with your Titan, that flat torque curve really helps in a lot of different ways. Uh, easy to put the power down, always have the power when you need it, and makes it really smooth to drive. So uh, the cams were specifically designed for a nice flat torque curve across a lot of the power band. They also feature some pretty cool low friction coatings, so it's just some more technology to help the engine work as well as it can at cold temperatures, especially uh, when it's starting up in the morning. So we talked about this a little bit earlier, but when we set out to do the S4 program, durability was one of the biggest items that we wanted to go, go tackle. And that's why we started with that proven architecture. And it's really one of the benefits of just the four stroke engine design in general, the inherent durability of the engine. But we did a couple specific things to make sure that it was as durable as we wanted it to be in the snowmobile application. Um, and, and the first that we'll talk about is uh, that dry sub oiling system that we touched on earlier. It makes sure that the engine is properly oiled at all times and all orientations like we talked about. But the other important piece is the special oil that's flowing through that dry sump system. So we designed at the time a specific 0W50 fully synthetic uh, out of our PS4 Extreme line of oil, specifically for the S4 engine in a snowmobile to make sure that it maintains that proper lubrication uh, throughout, the entire, uh, throughout the entire operation. A uh, nice added bonus is that with that PS4 Extreme, after the, the first break-in interval, it has a 4,000 mile oil change interval. Uh, so more time riding, less time worrying about getting an oil change, and of course, you don't have to add any oil either. So I mentioned one of the goals of the program was maintaining that fun to ride spirit that all of our snowmobiles have. 
when we made a four stroke version of our Indy XC and Indy Adventure, Voyager, Titan, we didn't want to lose how fun they were to ride. Snowmobiling at its core is fun even if you're going out to do work and we didn't want to lose that. So a couple specific pieces on the S4 that make it really, really fun, engaging and just an enjoyable snowmobile to go ride as a whole. We talked about the low center of gravity with the, the shared crank center line driven by that dry sump boiling system and some other integration pieces. Uh, the next piece is all of our S4 snowmobiles have electronic throttle. So instead of a cable actuated throttle, it's, it's an electronic throttle body tucked back here uh, behind the intake. And the electronic throttle was a big point of emphasis for our team when we were doing the development out on the snow. We wanted it to be smooth, responsive, and ride like a snowmobile throttle should. We didn't want it to feel disconnected or dead. Uh, and that's exactly what we nailed with S4. Um, the throttle, even though it's electronic, is smooth. It responds how it should. It's easy to ride. It's predictable. And it's really comfortable. It's got a really comfortable throttle uh, lever and throw that fits a lot of hands and just is really enjoyable to ride. One of the benefits of the electronic throttle system is drive modes. So a lot of our S4s have three drive modes available, uh, Eco, Standard, and Sport. Um, really allowing the, the sled to be tailored to different types of riders or different types of riding in general. Um, Eco is awesome for newer snowmobilers or snowmobilers who are building confidence in their riding. It's really uh, kind of steady and really controlled throttle input. Um, you have to give quite a bit of input in order to make the, the throttle kind of start to open up in the engine rev. So it's really confidence inspiring uh, for somebody newer to snowmobiling or, or wanting to build that confidence as they, as they go ride. Standard works great for all types of different riding, uh, no matter what you're doing for all different kinds of riders, right there in the middle, especially in Titan and Voyager, uh, where you're doing a lot of work or towing. Standard's got a great mix of throttle response while still being smooth. Um, you know, when you got a big load on the back of your Voyager or something, or a passenger, you don't want herky-jerky throttle, right? You want it to be smooth and linear, and Standard does a great job of kind of bridging that gap and doing well everywhere. Sport is really fun. It turns the throttle response up a little bit, uh, more engaging to ride, especially if you've got an Indy Adventure and you're not riding with a passenger that day, you're gonna go out and rip the trails. Uh, you can go do that uh, with sport mode, which is a lot of fun. The ProStar S4 is right around that 100 horsepower mark. And so um, even though it's not as powerful as some of our bigger two-stroke engines that we sell, because of that flat torque curve, the, the different drive modes that make it really engaging and that low center of gravity, it's a really fun snowmobile to ride. The other piece that builds into that fun snowmobile to ride is the rest of the sled. When you go ride a snowmobile, you don't just ride the engine, you ride the whole thing. The engine's a part of it. Uh, and the differences on the snowmobile with an S4 in it are basically none. And that was the intention. You know, the Matrix platform, when we launched that Matrix platform in just two strokes, we talked a lot about how comfortable it is, the ergonomics and the, the positioning of all of the different rider interfaces, how comfortable the seating is, uh, the 7S display, the angle it's at, right? All these little details and how compact and narrow that platform is uh, that make it work so well to ride, so enjoyable, so comfortable for active riding or comfort riding. And S4 fits 100% within all of that bodywork the bodywork, the console, the seat, the tank, all the things that you touch and feel when you ride a snowmobile are not changed with an S4 compared to say a 650 or an 850. So there it is, a bit of a deep dive into the ProStar S4, the, the first in a long time four stroke engine for Polaris snowmobiles. Super durable with that proven architecture, long service intervals at 4,000 mile oil change and just a really robust engine with that dry sub boiling system and still super fun to ride. It's a Polaris after all. Low center of gravity, fun drive modes, right around 100 horsepower. It really is an awesome, enjoyable engine. Well, like I said, whether you got it in a Voyager, a Titan, or an Indy. That's all we have for today on this episode of Sled Tech. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you guys next time.